Hey guys, what's up? It's Max here with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this intro right now. Using only iMovie. And iMovie is a basic free application on Apple products. And it's very basic, but you can still make great results with it. And I'm going to be showing you how I pretty much made that. It's very simple to make. It only took me about half an hour. You didn't really need any other applications to make it except iMovie itself but otherwise i think it's really simple and i hope you guys enjoy the videos guys so the first thing you'll be needing is some sort of text or a logo but what i like to use is text especially because my channel is my name so my name is maxwell chan so i have the text right here and i just put it in like a glitch transition thing there's many apps on the app store or the google play store which support this that i just used and i downloaded it from my phone i think it looks very nice and it doesn't matter if it has a transparent background or anything but because my intro has a black background and i prefer it that way but if you want to make it transparent i'll show you something real quick you can just search up transparent background to png so what that'll do is it'll bring you to the first site which is basically this and you want to select your file so here it is if you want to make the background transparent then just import it and then down here to transparency color you want to change it to black and it'll get rid of all of the black color it's hard to see the words a little bit so instead of 30 percent match similar colors you, you want to make sure you, you want to just have an even balance if i have this like maxwell chan right here i think that looks pretty nice already so if i save it as i don't i'm not going to right now but you guys can to your computer and then it'll be transparent if you guys are hoping to do that but now if we go into iMovie actually this so this is what my intro looks like right now i tried to match the subscribe button my instagram and the notification bell to the beat of the music so you guys can find any beat or any sort of music online you guys know how to do that and your intro should ideally be five seconds or less so that's why this is five seconds and what i did with my intro is i in the beginning as you can see it zooms in like that like real quick so the way i did that pretty much is if i make an if i create a new movie right now and i put in my file what i do is i snip off a little bit of the clip already so i can do i do control b and then this snips off just a little bit of it and then i go to ken burns and i end the whole entire screen or whatever portion you want and i start it like really really slim if i want to get that really good effect so i put it over my name and then it goes like that it's the same principle like i had it before in my intro so it just zooms in again and then it'll act as like it's zooming into the actual footage of the video after i played my intro snip off a bit and then you do ken burns and ken burns so it'll basically so you want to start from the whole entire screen and you want to end in the center of your text or your logo and now it'll look like this so it zooms out and then it zooms back in as you can see at the end it stops right there what i actually did was i went to transitions then I went fade to black and I put it at the end. I mean, you can make it very subtle like that. So just keep shortening it and playing around with it. How did I put the subscribe button? How did I put my Instagram on there? How did I put my bell notification thing on there? So you guys are probably wondering that. And how did I move the text around? So the way I actually move the text around, I'll start with that first, is I got a black background. I put it right here. I have my name over the black background and you double click. And you want to do a picture in a picture and you can enlarge it to however, however you like. I'm just going to show you how to move it around now. The option right here. This is the control center where I actually do it. So you want to click this button and it stops the position to where that to where the text is in the picture in the picture. And then you press down the space bar and then stop it real quick. Right now you want to move your text a little bit before even doing anything. So I moved it just slightly. And then you start it and stop it. And then you stop by pressing that button again. Start it, stop it. Okay, I forgot to do this, but you move it back again like that. Start, stop press that button and then you move it wherever you want again start stop and then you press the button and then you keep repeating this process basically until you are satisfied so if i keep moving it around so it'll look like this right now see it's moving around in the beginning portion and you guys can keep playing around with that but that's basically how i did it and i just did it to the beat where the footage wouldn't really move when there was a pause in the beat but that's how to move your text around and now i'm going to show you 
how to add the Instagram and the subscribe thing. In my media, I have a subscribe button here. It's transparent. I downloaded it from Google. You guys have to do that too. And I put like my Instagram thing here. It's kind of blurry. So I have the bell notification icon. So basically what I have to do is you save this, save this whole entire movie as a file. And then you put the file back in. Once you save it as a file, you put another image on top of it. If I do it in my intro right now, as you can see, the bell notification, it's on top of the whole entire saved file. That's what it'll look like. And then I put the bell notification icon on top of it. And make sure you have it so it's you press fit. Because if it's a Ken Burns, then it will look kind of weird. And make sure it's picture in a picture. So that way you can you can have it anywhere on the screen if you want. Make sure you blend it with the music. Make sure it's okay and it pops up right on the beat and then it goes away as the transition is going. So it's basically like that. You just overlay it on top. I did the exact same process with the subscribe button on my Instagram thing. It's not too hard to do, but I think it just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of getting used to since I've been using this program for a long time. So that is pretty much how I made my whole entire intro. If you have any questions about this, then definitely tell me in the comments down below. Definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you like iMovie content about me making more iMovie videos, tell me in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.